there! This is a video about how to peel and get your yuca ready for boiling. As you can see, as I mentioned in my blog, I chose yuca that is completely white and has no brown fibers and it's not yellow. Um, this will give you a good sense of whether the yuca is good for boiling and whether it'll be sweet or not. You will need um, a small to medium paring knife, a big chopping knife or a santoku knife in this case. I have one big root here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the big knife to cut it in about four, four inch pieces. So let me start with this. Just, you're just gonna hit it once and flip the knife. You hit it once and flip the knife. And you repeat that until you're ready to peel all the yucas. Once you're ready to peel, the first thing you need to know is that this brown part it's only, uh, it, looks, it looks like a paper shell and it's kind of what it is. So what you want to do with the paring knife is find the place where the skin peels off easily. You see, there's a pink skin underneath that brown skin. And this is what you need to peel off. So both the brown and the pink need to come off. And you're going to go from right to left, being careful not to hurt yourself. Some yucas are easier than others to peel. This one in particular is uh, a little bit trickier because the skin um, is stuck to the yuca in an unusual way. But it's usually easier. And um, once this is done, you're going to go ahead and place your paring knife in the middle, kind of measure the middle of the yuca, and cut into it until it's easy enough to do this. Just pry it open. And this is ready for boiling after a wash. I'll show you in a little bit um, how you can freeze this. You can actually just put it in a Ziploc bag. With, along with your other yuca, freeze it and keep it in the fridge for as long as you need until you're ready to boil them. Or if you're ready to boil them, you can boil them right away using um, the recipe I have on my blog, BitesLife.com. Thank you.